you're enjoying a slice of cheese on toast, creamy, rich, perfectly melted, and then you hear the headline, toxic ammonia leak at a cheese factory. Suddenly, that comfort food has a chilling backstory. This wasn't a small incident. It happened at Mondelez International's cheese factory in Victoria, Australia, where workers were rushed to hospital, production came to a halt, and the community was left asking, how could something so simple as cheese carry such hidden dangers? Before we dive in, where we uncover the real stories of factory failures, hidden risks, and the billion dollar mistakes no one talks about. The Mondelez factory is a global supplier. From chocolate to cheese, its products end up in homes worldwide. But behind the scenes, factories like this rely on massive ammonia-based refrigeration systems to keep dairy safe. Ammonia is efficient, but also deadly, colorless, sharp smelling and corrosive. It only takes a small leak to trigger evacuations, hospitalizations and environmental scares. That's exactly what happened one quiet morning in Victoria. Workers suddenly noticed the acrid smell. Eyes began burning, throats tightened, panic spread across the floor. And here's the unnerving part. What if this had happened in your city? How quickly would you even know that the invisible gas around you was toxic? A silent threat. Here's the scary part, ammonia doesn't need a fire or an explosion to cause chaos. Just one unnoticed valve failure or corroded pipe can turn a dairy plant into a danger zone. At Mondelez, staff scrambled to get out. Emergency crews arrived in hazmat suits. Roads were blocked. Locals were warned to stay indoors. And yet this wasn't even the first time ammonia had made headlines in the food industry. One tiny crack in a pipe can shut down an entire food chain. Imagine supermarkets stripped bare of cheese, milk or frozen food, all because of one leaking valve. And if you think this is just about one cheese factory in Australia, think again. Incidents like this happen in meat plants, cold storage warehouses, even breweries. Stick around because we'll uncover why ammonia is still widely used and what it means for the food on your plate. And while you're here, don't forget to like this video. It really helps more people discover these hidden factory stories. The immediate aftermath. Emergency teams reported multiple workers being treated for exposure symptoms, burning eyes, breathing difficulty, skin irritation. The site was evacuated and cordoned off. For Mondelez, the reputational risk was huge. Headlines screamed, toxic leak. And suddenly, a brand associated with Cadbury chocolate and family comfort foods was tied to a hazardous gas. Production downtime, costly, worker safety concerns, critical, public perception, damaged. And here's the kicker, people rarely think about what keeps their food cold until the system breaks down in the worst possible way, not an isolated case. Here's the shocking part. Mondelez wasn't alone. In the US, an ice cream factory leak hospitalized dozens of employees and forced a product recall. In the UK, a meat processing site was fined millions after ammonia escaped into nearby neighborhoods. In Canada, hundreds of residents were evacuated when a cheese factory's ammonia system burst unexpectedly. So the question becomes, if it happened there, what's stopping it from happening again? Maybe in the factory that makes the cheese sitting in your fridge right now. The bigger question, why ammonia? The answer is simple and chilling. Ammonia is cheap, efficient, and powerful. In fact, it's one of the most energy-efficient refrigerants in large-scale food production. Scientifically, ammonia boils at negative 33 degrees Celsius, making it perfect for keeping dairy products frozen or chilled in bulk. But it's also classified as a hazardous substance. Exposure at just 300 parts per million can cause lung damage. At 5,000 parts per million, it can kill within minutes. So factories walk a tightrope, balancing efficiency with danger. It's a gamble. Save millions in energy costs or risk millions in fines, lawsuits, and damaged lives when a leak happens. The hidden costs. Here's something most people don't realize. When a factory suffers an ammonia leak, it's not just workers at risk. The entire supply chain feels the shock. Cheese orders delayed, export shipments halted, retailers scrambling to fill shelves, even farmers supplying milk 
get caught in the ripple effect. Picture your supermarket dairy aisle suddenly half empty, prices climbing, and no explanation other than a technical fault. That's how fragile our food system really is. Lessons from Mondelez. For Mondelez, the Australian leak was a wake-up call. Investigations revealed weaknesses in their refrigeration system. Safety protocols had to be revised, staff retrained. But here's the real lesson. These incidents aren't just accidents, they're warnings. Each leak reminds us how fragile the food system really is. Regulators now demand stricter inspections, leak detection technology, and better worker training. But critics argue it's still not enough because the risk will always be there as long as ammonia stays the industry standard. So the next time you pick up cheese at the supermarket, remember this. What seems like the most innocent food can hide an industrial secret. Factory are meant to nourish us, but sometimes they come dangerously close to poisoning their own workers and communities. If you want more eye-opening stories like this about recalls, disasters, and the hidden risks inside global factories, make sure to subscribe. Drop a comment below. Do you think ammonia should still be used in food factories, or is it time for a safer alternative? And don't forget hit like, share this video, and stay tuned. The next factory story might be even more shocking.